As you guys can see, this courtroom is very, very hot with fire. They're getting some attack lines. Oh my gosh! This is definitely some crazy fire. I think I just found like... What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Liberty County video. We're back here inside of your OC with another banger video for you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and use star code ruffles when you're purchasing Robux or premium. Don't support me and the channel. But without further ado, everybody, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So we actually had a pretty cool banger video for you guys today here in CRP Maple County. But kind of a side note, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the ERLC update, the summer update. Um, it's a little suspicious, but uh, you know what? We're going to ignore it. And uh, we're going to play some Maple County here today, everybody. But it's actually like 5 a.m. It's pretty early in the morning. And uh, as you can see, the sun is just rising up. There goes the moon. It's going down. And uh, the sun's coming up. So it's going to uh, definitely be a very lovely day today. And uh, I'm kind of excited to see what's going on. Hang on. I think we just got a quick dispatch here from... Uh... Oh, check this out. Looks like we have some type of commercial fire on Elm Street. We're going to get this going here. I think that's actually, uh, I think that's actually the courthouse. That might be the courthouse. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure, but we're going to go ahead and be en route to that coal there. Here we go, everybody. We're coming up on the scene here. Going through these traffic lights. Very, very cool. All right, so uh, go ahead and show uh, truck two on scene here. Looks like we have a uh, three-story commercial structure. Uh, with smoke showing on all the sides. This is going to be a working fire. Uh, go ahead and dispatch a medic unit here as well. Um, no victims reported at this time. And uh, command is on the alpha side here. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and deploy. We're going to go ahead and deploy a ladder to, first of all, the top roof as, as we get these engine companies here. How about truck one? You go ahead and do search and rescue once we get in. Engine one and two get a supply and attack line. And uh, tanker one get a backup attack line here. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get on the roof of this puppy. And we're going to start ventilating this pretty hardcore. We're going to start ventilating this pretty hardcore here. So I think we got the ladder up. Got the ladder up. Whoops. Hold up. I don't think I'm doing it right. And uh, almost. Did we get it? Did we get it? I think we got it. There we go. We'll go ahead and make this up right here, right here. There we go. Okay. So, uh, ladders deployed on the third store here. We're going to get an SCBA bottle here. And we're going to go and actually head up there. And we're actually going to start cutting holes in the roof. Let's start cutting holes in this roof. Equip our bottle here. Let's go ahead and grab one of our saws. And, uh, let's go. And boom. There we go. We're just going to get our other tools as well while we're at it. But we have to be very careful, everybody, because roof collapse is definitely an option. It is definitely an option that could be a, be a big problem here. So we got our saw here. Start this puppy up. And we're going to head up to the uh, to the uh, roof of the building here. There we go. There we go. We're going to start cutting holes in this place. This place is blazing. This thing is crazy here, everybody. As you guys can see, we're cutting a bunch of holes in this roof. Being very careful not to, uh, not to make this fire grow anymore. Um, because as you guys can see... It is definitely... What the heck kind of place is this? What the heck? I think I just found an accident. Um, I'm not even going to ask. Dude, what is this on the wall? Okay, I'm not going to ask. But as you guys can see, this courtroom is very, very hot with fire. They're getting some attack lines. Oh my gosh. This is definitely some crazy fire. I think I just found like a furry hideout or something. There's like a picture of a furry on the wall. And a big armory. I'm not even sure. So, all right, engine two's making an attack. So that means that they got they got water on the fire. Everybody, for anyone that doesn't know that, we're continuing to cut some ventilation holes inside of the roof. Looks like we've got to make about 12 cuts. In real life, when we actually ventilate on these roofs here, everybody, it's going to usually be about a four by four cut, four feet by four feet. You know, you don't measure it. I mean, you're cutting a hole on a roof. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then usually on a long building like this, what we would do is we'd call it a, we'd make a trench cut, which is really like a 12 by 4 cut here. Um, just to, and it would really make make this whole area ventilated pretty good. But it looks like we got 22 fires to put out. If we actually need some backup, I might grab an attack line and actually head over and help these teams out because it looks like these they got a lot of fire to put out here, everybody. But I'm not even sure if there was a court case going on. There could be. Truck one, two victims found inside, everybody. So it looks like our search and rescue team did find two victims. They did find two victims as well here. 
Ah, uh, that's very interesting. Very, very cool. So looks like we got a. Uh, we're gonna go and dispatch here. Uh, this is truck two. We went ahead and uh, ventilation is complete on the building here. Ventilation is complete here. There we go. So it looks like we're gonna head back down the ladder here, and we're gonna go ahead and make our way back down here. There we go. We might grab an attack line and actually enter. Engine two has fully involved courtroom, so they are making an attack on there. Very cool. Very cool. I think there's a hydrant. A hydrant over there. I'm not sure if anyone's connected to it. Oh, they already got two people connected, but I think I can connect to the uh, the other steamer port that they actually got connected there. So let's go ahead and uh, grab an grab an engine here. How do I do that? Is it right here? I am not too sure. I think it's on the back. I think it is on the back here, everybody. Uh, I'm not sure actually. Not sure. We're just gonna grab one of these nozzles here, but all right. So there is one victim they pulled out and a prisoner inside. There's a prisoner inside, so we're actually gonna head in the fire. You guys okay? So it looks like they are making a pretty hefty attack. Pretty hefty attack on this fire. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm not even sure what else I can do here. But uh, there we go. I think there was a oh join scene. That was a different guy. So they are getting a good knockdown on this fire here, everybody. As you guys can see, we're putting this fire in the ground, puppy! Oh, this guy needs help. Hang on, there's someone yelling over here. Wait, there's a victim! Hang on, there's a victim over here. He's invisible though. He's up for some reason. He probably fell through the map, but he's invisible. He is invisible. Hang on. We're carrying a victim out of here carrying a victim outside of the building. We're gonna drop him right here There we go. Hold up. We're gonna drop this dude Hang on. Is he alive? Sir, you okay? So we're gonna get you some medical attention. Okay? We're gonna get you some medical attention here soon. Oh my gosh So it looks like there hasn't been any fire that's been knocked out, but we're gonna get some fans everybody it looks like we have to vent the area with some uh, with some smoke fans here, so we're gonna go and do that real quick. So let's go ahead and open up one of our compartments and grab one of these uh, fans here. Here we go. There we go. There we go. We just gotta put one of these in the window. Positive pressure ventilation. This is called everybody. If anybody is wondering, so what it does is it pushes air in and it pushes the smoke out. Pushes air in and pushes the smoke out. So we're gonna get these alarms disabled because these puppies are loud. These puppies are loud. So how many alarms we got? Let's see what we got. Turn off the alarm at the alarm box. Check all the alarms as well. So where are these alarms at? Usually there's one in every room here. Here we go. Here we go. We got one of the alarms here. We're going to check this alarm. Turn this puppy off. There we go. Boom. There's seven of them. Are you kidding me? I can't do that. That's insane. Seven alarms. What's back here? Oh, there's here's another alarm. Here's another alarm, everybody. Very cool. Then let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see some more Maple County because I haven't made a lot of content on this game, but I think it's actually a lot of fun to do. And they got some some crazy, crazy serious role plays here. There we go. Get this alarm off, everyone. Shut up. Jeez. I mean, it's loud as crap in here. Is there another one over here? Another one over here. There we go. There we go. And we need an attack line on the south side. We've got some serious fire. Oh my gosh, I'm out of oxygen. Hang on, hang on. I gotta get another air bottle. Hang on, I gotta run out and get another air bottle. Engine line, or engine two requesting an attack line in the back of the courtroom. They're gonna say, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna die. Dude, I need, I, need a, I need a bottle now. Dude, oh my goodness. I almost became one of the victims. And that is not good. That is not good. Be quiet. Be quiet. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we got a new bottle. There we go. So they're going to get... <laughs> this guy said any burns or cuts. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh my gosh. They still got a lot of fire to put out. 33 fire. Okay. Looks like we have a rekindle on the south side of the room here. We need an attack line pronto over here immediately. We need an attack line immediately inside of the courtroom. We got crazy amounts of fire inside of this building. Okay. I'm going to see if I can try and get an attack line here. Can I get one? Does it let you get one on the engine? Open compartment. Oh, uh, there we go. There we go. Let's get a 200-foot attack line going. Let's go and hook this puppy up to our pump. We're going to turn on our pack attack pump. And you know what? We're going to grab an attack line as well. I'm sorry. A supply line. Supply line. Get this puppy hooked up. Whoops. Connect. Supply line. Pick up, connect attack line, and now we actually got to take the supply line, everybody, and head over to the other place. But 
This is a crazy fire, everybody. 45 fire fires we got to put out. So this is definitely uh, one heck of a fire that we're that we're putting out here, everyone. So let's go ahead, and we need all hands on deck. Let's go and do a second alarm on this thing. Let's do a second alarm. I'm going to go and grab this fire hose, and hopefully, if I got any ounce of luck in the side of this building... Oh my gosh. This place is crazy. Look at this place. I mean, there is not one one piece of unburned fire in here everybody this is insane this is insane fire is spreading let's get a third alarm while we're at it we're gonna need a third alarm let's go let's go everyone we need fire pro or i'm sorry we need water this is crazy. you know what i'm leaving i'm not doing this i'm out of here you know what you guys are on your own uh i'm not sure if i can deal with that right now but that place is up in smoke i'll tell you that right now but anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like on it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And use Star Code Ruffles when you're purchasing Robux or Premium to support me in the channel. But without further ado, everyone, that's going to do it for today. I love you guys so much. My name is Ruffles Official, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.